Welcome to my channel Maths for Suite. Today we'll look into the chapter called Rational Numbers. The given question is find the multiplicative inverse of the following and the given number is minus 13 upon 19. So guys, let us see how we can find out the multiplicative inverse of minus 13 upon 19. Here question has given us this number minus 13 minus 13 upon 19 and question is asking us question is asking us to find out to find out the multiplicative inverse to find out the multiplicative inverse multiplicative inverse of minus 13 upon 19 so guys before trying to find out the multiplicative inverse of minus 13 upon 19 let us try to understand what does it mean by multiplicative inverse if you look here I have posted the definition of multiplicative inverse. Now, let us look here to the definition. The definition says that multiplicative inverse is a rational number which when multiplied to the given rational number, we get 1. So that means, for example, if, a, if the given rational number is a upon b, a upon b, as per the question, multiplicative inverse is a rational number which when multiplied to the given rational number, we get 1. That means if we multiplied b upon a to a upon b, we will get 1. How? This is this looks like this. a upon b into b upon a is nothing but a b by b a. Or simply we can say a b by a b. b a is nothing but a b. And this a b, this a b cancels out and we get, we get 1. This is what we call as multiplicative inverse. So multiplicative inverse of a upon b is b upon a. Now let us try to find out some take some examples. Let's say the question has given us 2 upon 3. So the multiplicative inverse of 2 upon 3 will be 3 upon 2. That means that I can write 6 upon 6 that is equal to 1. This one, this one cancels out. So we get 1 and we can say that the multiplicative inverse of 2 upon 3 is 3 upon 2. Now Let's say if the question has given us the multiplicative, the question has given us this number minus 2 upon 3. Let's say the question has given us minus 2 upon 3. So the multiplicative inverse of minus 2 upon 3 will be 3 upon minus 2. Because if we multiply, we will get minus 6 upon minus 6. So that is equal to 1. But guys, here there is a trick here. We cannot say that multiplicative inverse of minus 2 upon 3 is 3 minus 3 upon minus 2. Why? Because in the denominator, we cannot keep a negative sign in the denominator. So instead of saying 3 upon minus 2 is the multiplicative inverse, we should say that the multiplicative inverse of minus 2 upon 3 is minus 3 upon 2. This is what we need to say. Instead of 3 upon minus 2, we, we should say it is minus 3 upon 2. Hope guys you understood this. This is very simple and very straightforward, but this is little bit technical. This is little bit technical. We need to understand. The multiplicative inverse of minus 2 upon 3 is not 3 upon minus 2. It is minus 3 upon 2. This is what we need to keep on, keep in mind. Now, after understanding the definition of multiplicative inverse and after understanding some examples, let us try to find out the multiplicative inverse of minus 13 upon 19 that the question asked us to find out. So minus 13 upon 19, its multiplicative inverse will be, uh, its multiplicative inverse will be minus 13 upon 19 into 19 upon minus 13, as I told you. Because if we multiply, we will get 1. If we multiply these two, we will get 1. So we are telling it the multiplicative inverse of 19 upon minus, the multiplicative inverse of minus 13 upon 19 is 19 upon minus 13. But as I told you here in this particular example, we should not tell that it is 19 upon minus 13. Simply we should tell that the multiplicative inverse, multiplicative inverse, multiplicative inverse, of minus 13 upon 19 minus 13 upon 19 is minus 19 upon 13 we should not tell it is as 19 upon minus 13 minus should not be in the denominator it should be always in the numerator so instead of telling minus 13 upon 19 we should tell it is minus 19 upon 13 hope guys you understood this this is very simple and very straight about straightforward but we should be very careful when we get some negative symbols but guys, if you have any questions or doubts, please reach out to me in the comment section of this video. Definitely, I will get back to you once I see your comments. Guys, if you really like my videos, please subscribe and let your friends know. 
If you really like my videos, I would request you to kindly subscribe and also let your friends know. This will motivate me to create similar videos in the future. Thank you. Bye.